Hey there, how's it going everybody? Welcome to this video series where I'm gonna be walking you through a guide to renewal architecture in Salesforce. So this series is designed to give you clear, actionable steps to help you improve your renewal process and ensure you actually have accurate reporting. Each video in the series is also going to tie back to a comprehensive Notion Wiki ebook that we've created. So be sure to check that out as well. So renewal management is crucial for any company that relies on subscription revenue. It helps you properly forecast revenue, maintain relationships, and also have proper reporting so you understand how your team is performing and how much revenue they're retaining. But it can get very complicated. Things like midterm contract changes like amendments or midterm churn can come into play. And that's where Salesforce and some of their automation functionality or screen flow automation can really help streamline this process. In this series, we're going to cover everything from setting up the foundational data model to more advanced topics like setting up revenue movement or managing midterm contract changes. We're going to walk you through everything so that you can set up your Salesforce and your renewal process effectively so your forecast is accurate. So whether you're an admin, a CS lead, sales operations, or just part of a startup, this series is going to equip you with the tools and insights that you need in order to streamline this renewal process. You'll be able to apply it directly into your own instance without spending any money on any expensive third-party tools. So that's it for this introduction video. Be sure to check out the next video where we dive into the basics of renewal architecture in Salesforce. And don't forget to look at that Notion ebook wiki that accompanies the series for even more detailed information. And lastly, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this.